Hello again. I was asked about what knife I use. I've had quite a few of them over the years, and you know, some are better than others. But this is the one that I settled with. It's uh, the Mora Clipper. It's uh, a fantastic knife for the price. I got this one for, I think it was about £12 delivered. Um, Swedish ground. It's razor sharp when you get them and you can look after them. This isn't the stainless steel one because, with, as I said in another video, the stainless steel ones you can't use for um, creating sparks. So I went for the, just the high carbon one. Um, as I say, the Swiss ground, very easy to keep sharp. I mean, this one said it's been thrown at things, stabbed in things, you name it, but you know, it's a fantastic sharp knife. Um, I've done a couple of modifications on it. I was asked about because someone noticed a little silver thing on my handle. That is um, uh, a measuring cup. I think it's a quarter of a teaspoon that I found in my brass kitchen utensil drawer. Um, what I've done is I, I took, cut the handle off, cut, the, cut a hole in the handle, and I've sunk this in there with um, two pack epoxy. And it's never moved, ground it off, sat so all nice and smooth and everything. I did see a really clever video where um, a chap found a 10 pence piece, uh, put a socket over the top of it, um, the round part of a ball peen hammer and clamped it all together in a vice to actually make himself it was a 10 pence bowl and used it to do the same thing the idea of the reason that's on there is because i fit that into the knife the other way around because i don't want shiny things showing i'm sneaking about but that when you hold that and you've got um, a, bit of a, bow. There we go. a bit of a bow draw i was playing with that will fit quite nicely into that and it will hold it firm so when you when you've got your bow drill going a bit sleepy up here but that will hold it really nicely and it's frictionless as well so all the energy will actually go into the bit of wood you're trying to light and not use the other piece it's a little thing which you know comes in useful um right the flint and steel i showed you the flint uh, the steel sorry <coughs> that's just one of the ordinary big old budget flints you can get what I did notice was um, the shape, because of the shape of the scabbard, I went, I was wondering about clipping that in, because this used to, I used to have this thing on a bit of paracord, and it flapped about and drove me insane, and I kept tucking it in my trousers, and then you name it. So what I done is I actually got um, an old Sharpie, cut the end of it off, and because that fits in quite nicely, and I don't know if that will show up on here, but that fits in, clips in quite nicely. The old, the Sharpie is held together with, they were held in place, with a piece of sliced off bite in the tube, which I just slid over the over the lot over the sharpie and around the scabbard, so that basically roughly holds it in place. Because it, <coughs> excuse me, because of the um, inner tube, also it you can pull it out, so you can tuck odds and sods in behind it. What I've done is I've got um, one of the little um, set together bags, filled it up with char cloth, rolled it up, and tucked that into the back underneath the uh, inner tube. So I've got nice dry char cloth with me all the time as well. Uh, and then, <coughs> just to keep it all secure, I've got 10 foot of paracord wrapped around it, which, you know, it's not going anywhere now. So that's my knife. And uh, three ways of starting fire as well. So quite a handy little tool. You know, I recommend them highly. Brilliant tools. All right, that's that. That's my knife. Thank you very much.